Hello everybody, back here again from our vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 8th, and today was a um, rather weird um, weather day. It was crazy, insane wind this morning, overnight, kind of came in really early morning, super late night, something like that, I'm not sure when it got there exactly, but crazily, like, wind blowing like hell, I was staying out at a um, friend's new place, and apparently their windows are single pane, like no storm or something. I don't know what was going on there. It was the whole place rattled. Like the windows shook. It was like sounded like a most insane rainstorm you'd ever heard. They had a couple dogs and stuff, and the dogs were going crazy. Bruce was every once in a while their dogs were going crazy, so Bruce would get all kind of upset and worked up in that. And it literally sounded like a rainstorm. Like it was the weirdest wind we I've ever heard before. And it was just strange. Got, when I finally got up in daylight, I was looking outside and realized I don't think it rained at all. Like my car had no spots on it. The ground was dry, all that kind of stuff. So I have no idea really what was going on there. It was just, I don't know. We both were talking about the fact that, you know, how it was like a rainstorm like hell. And it wasn't a rainstorm. We found out what was going on. But didn't get much sleep last night. Just don't sleep well in that whole concept in a different area, different house, different bed, all that kind of thing. And just, I don't know. It was that sucked. So. It was not a um, fun night, and hey, oh my God, snore like a freight train, and like, I don't think there's a house big enough you could be at the other end of the house and still not have this person wake you up. It was just, it was really a rough night overall. Um, woke up super early, not a big fan of waking up early, got to bed late, the whole nine yards. So I've been kind of just a little drowsy all day from lack of sleep, but also just a lot of, I don't know, I got a bunch of heavy crap weighing on my heart and that stuff. It's just things that shit happens I guess and you just can't really you know once something goes wrong it's, it takes forever to get put back right and it may never go right again it's hard telling so went ahead um ended up having a Casey's breakfast pizza for the first time ever there's a Casey's not far from my buddy's new place and we got that and it was I don't know I had a couple slices that wasn't my cup of tea really it was it wasn't bad they seemed to love it they were bragging all up so I was like yeah it's, it's good I would have not went with the cheese sauce. It's like an Alfredo sauce instead of pizza sauce on it. I would have definitely went with pizza sauce. Eggs and sausage and cheese would have went just fine with uh, some pizza sauce. But I guess that would have been a regular pizza, not a, I guess, breakfast pizza in their mind. But you throw eggs on anything, it becomes breakfast no matter what it is. So had a couple slice of that, but not really feeling it too much. Um, hung around there a while, kind of checked out the place in the daylight and stuff. In the, you know, today it was a little bit different looking than yesterday. It's kind of a little time to soak it all in and Gave them some pointers on what they could do to kind of, I guess, fix up the place and stuff and what they had to do there or what they could do, whatever, make a big difference. And I have to admit, I was super jealous of the location. They're out in kind of the middle of nowhere. They've got a few acres there. It's an awesome little chunk of land. Um, landscaping between like the garage and the house would be just, there's so much stuff you could do there. I'd throw like a koi pond in there probably. Maybe make that a little more of a patio set. There's a giant deck out back. Um, there's a covered front porch that's pretty big like a deck type porch up front it's pretty big also um giant concrete slab out back there used to be a pool there it looks like like the stain in the concrete a slab right behind the garage which i probably would make into like a lawnmower type shed or something like that too to kind of add a little extra and if it was my place i'd probably make that my air compressor and dust collection room kind of use the concrete slab as the floor turn the um, garage into my woodworking shop and that but then it is a heated garage and there's a lot of things i was jealous of the property being a double wide um, and needing some work, it's that weird kind of off level needing some work. It doesn't make me that jealous, but I'm still, it's nicer my place, but it's a ton more money in my place. And it's one of those things where they got it, not me. So I would trade them happily. And it's not, kind of like I said, in the middle of nowhere. So it really suck for like a commute and that kind of thing back and forth to work. But some people don't mind driving an hour to work, which I I hated that. I, I, I kind of missed it, I guess, a little bit because I used to drive over an hour. I drove like an hour every day one way and then back for like a decade when I had my own retail shop. But your own retail shop seems a lot different than driving to a factory or something to work and driving that long. I don't know why. It just seems different. So, And I did it like seven days a week, which makes even less stupid, you know, less sense there because of the fact that I should have moved up where my shop was all those years and I would have except my ex-wife didn't ever want to leave town here. So... You're driving three or four thousand miles a month. And you don't realize how much that puts a taxing on you. And just, I drove older vehicles and stuff because I was just destroying. I couldn't buy a new car because it would just destroy it in value for, considering the fact that I'd be running out of warranty, you know, in the first year. I mean, I'd be literally, I'd run through my thirty-six thousand mile warranty in a year, which would be just insane to think about the depreciation I'd have on even a cheap 
eighteen thousand dollar car, you would just destroy it in value. So anyway, I guess that's way off topic there. But got done there, um, left there, headed to Otumwa, hang out with my buddy in that, and I should have went through Fairfield, which would have made more sense because I guess there's an AT and T store over there. Did look for a new cell phone and didn't realize that until after I was already in Tumwa, so I missed out on that. Thought there was one at Tumwa according to the website. There's not. It's a glitch in the AT&T website, unfortunately. So I did hit a couple places like the T-Mobile and kind of places, and they're basically saying they don't have coverage in my town. Even in my whole county, it's virtually coverage-free, so it does me no good to own that phone. Um, talked to Verizon. I went tried to talk to U.S. Cellular. I was going to see what it would take to set one up my own. Just, I don't know if they're going to, because my name was on that account, if it's going to be tied up and I won't be able to get a hang with them again unless I pay back that full bill or what's going on there. So I'm really hoping that that didn't fuck up my whole thing with U.S. Cellular, which will really suck if it did, but I don't know. They had a, like a two-hour wait. Um, they were like taking names and stuff. Like, well, can, I guess go shop and I'll call you when we get down to a couple people left and you can come back. And I'm like how can you not have more people than this? And I was like, just screw it. And I just left. I didn't even take a number or nothing. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Let's all get out. So I went ahead and left. They're like, well, we'll call you. And I'm thinking, well, that does me no good. In fact, I have no phone right now because mine's been cut off. So I couldn't have them call me. And I was no way I was going to sit there for two hours. It's just never going to happen. So I did hit the um, Walmart stuff, try to check that stuff out. And the employees there are just, I don't know, they're just so damn worthless. They're like, you know, I wouldn't go with this because this coverage just sucked. And I, I have U.S. Cellular, that's what I would go with. And I'm like, you don't even sell U.S. Cellular. And I'm like, I don't know, it was a whole mess there. So I gave up and said to hell with it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm still going to try and do a little research if I can't basically jailbreak my iPhone and 4S and see if I can't convert it over to Verizon maybe. Or even maybe, I don't know, jump on somebody else's family plan as much as I hate that idea. I just, I don't know. I have to figure something out. And the whole thought that I was paying like 45 bucks a month on that like shared family plan, which was awesome. I'm going to be paying like 100 bucks now. And that's $1,200 extra. I mean, uh, no, 600 bucks extra a, a year that I'm going to be spending on just a damn cell phone. And it just sucks when all they had to do is just pay the bill or tell me about it. I could have, I could have deported my line on my own and a whole bunch of stuff could have been done. But I don't know. That's neither here nor there, I guess. Um, I finally um, headed home. I got to my buddy's place, I guess. He, I was heading up there. He wasn't going to be back at like 4.15. I was going to be there way before that. He went out to the uh, movies with his daughter and stuff and that. So I was like, that sucks. So I kind of ran around to Tumwa, just kind of killing time, like I said, looking for phones and stuff. Went for my run. Went to the dog park. Of course, no damn dogs there, unfortunately. Went for my run um, with my with Bruce and I. Had a decent little run. Took it down to it's like a beach area next to the river. It's like a really long, sandy area. The sand kind of washes up. Let him play in the sand for quite a bit and that. He seemed to really enjoy that. Headed back. Went out to my buddy's place. He wasn't there yet, but his dad was there and stuff. And he was just heading inside as I got there. So I headed in with him. It was like perfect timing. I literally walked in. They were serving dinner. So grabbed myself some food there with them. And then by the time we got finished, wrapped up eating, um, my buddy showed up. He got back to the movie. So we headed back outside and basically started, had ourselves a cigar in that and just kind of shot the shit a little bit, talked a little and hung out and stuff. And I was there for a few hours and I was just having trouble staying awake. I was just so damn tired. I gave up, said hell to headed home quite a bit earlier than I normally would. Got back here and just been feeling off. I think a lot of the stress, I get, like I said, I got a bunch of crap weighing on me. It's just stuff that right now, unfortunately, is out of my control. I'm just kind of waiting to see if things play out properly or not. And just, I don't know. It's one of those things you just, it's hard to explain what's going on. And you don't know what all people want you're talking about and that kind of thing. So you're trying to keep it to yourself and all you want to do is scream out like loud, you know, this is what I need, this is what I want kind of thing. And I don't know, it's one of those things you're just kind of stuck in the process. So went ahead, um, did get a chance to kind of work through some of that, talking some of that stuff out and who knows where it's going. I'm still just hopeful, I guess, the best thing I can say. And this one good thing, I did get myself some peanut butter fudge today. Um, awesome about that. My buddy's mom makes really good peanut butter fudge. Nobody really likes it except me, and they'll all eat a little bit of it, just trying to think to steal it from me is all they're really doing. And then they'll complain about how they don't like it as they're eating it, but they're just doing it just to fuck with me. So I have less peanut butter fudge. So got that, and I was super cool about that when I got my peanut butter fudge. I was happy about that. Glad to be back home to have my high-speed um, Wi-Fi again so I can knock out all my Twitters and stuff and kind of check all my emails. And it's amazing how slow that stuff is when you're out in the middle of nowhere, out in, like, Missouri, Iowa State line. So glad to be here. Um, just going to try and get some sleep tonight. It's super late. My mind's not letting me sleep. I'm just a million things running around my brain. I've got a weird hyperactive brain that just won't let me stop thinking of a thousand different things that could go right in the situation I'm working on and a thousand things that could go wrong. And it's just, I don't know. One of the things that I gotta figure it out eventually. So, 
Hopefully tonight I'll get some sleep. I'm exhausted enough. Um, thought about taking some like, I think it's melatonin, I think it's called. It's like a sleep pill thing. I tell you that every time and I never do because I'm like, I don't know, I look at it as a drug and I don't want to take a drug. So I know it's all natural and crap. I just probably won't do it because I hate the thought of being dependent on anything. So I guess it stems back to the fact that back when I was an alcoholic and I guess maybe still am, I don't know how you look at it, but back when I used to drink every damn day. So I want to never be back in that situation again in my life. So never want to be dependent on anything. Um, closest addiction I have right now besides donuts is probably um, chocolate milk. And I'd much rather have that over any other addiction I've ever had in my life. So that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.